Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mid Pokemaster here, and today we're going to be doing the team builder and battle for APA Indigo League, I believe week 6. So today we're facing a good friend, Cyan, I don't know how to say the last part of his name, and the R. Sneasel. His team consists of Kartana, Tapu Fini, Nido Queen, Alola Marowak, Stack Attack Up, Mega Metacham, Gore, Linoon, Sneasel, Raichu, and Flygon. Kartana can defog, Tapu Fini can defog, Nido Queen can use Stealth Rock and Toxic Spikes, Alola Marowak can use Stealth Rocks, Stack Attack can use Stealth Rocks, Acel Gore can use Spikes and T Spikes, then Flygon can defog and Stealth Rock. His Z users are Kartana and Stack Attacka. Both really good, but I feel like my team has a really good advantage against his speed wise and offensively. His team doesn't like to switch into my big threats like Mega Charizard X, Mimikyu, and Kabalion. So I'm hoping to take advantage of that this week and let's get started in the team builder. So, first off, you see I have Max Physically Defensive Colberberry Mew with Will O Wisp, Psychic, Softball, and Defog. His only dark type is the Sneasel, but it doesn't want to get Will O Wisp, and I'm fine with this thing getting knocked off by it. And this is a good check to Kartana because Knockoff plus Will O Wisp, it doesn't want to take. And Psychic still does it like 30% to it because of how low its special defense is. So, I'm. I have Defog because later on in the team builder you'll see Mega Charizard X and I don't want it coming in taking rocks damage because I don't have Roost this week so it makes it harder to set up so and I have the softball just for the longevity just to stall some things out if I need to be. So next one I'm bringing is Tauros, outspeeds his entire team barring Scarfers and Sneasel and Excelgore so I guess it doesn't but. I just, looking at his speed trailers real quick, it looked like it did. Body Slam, flame, Flamethrower, Stomping Tantrum, Ice Beam, with Life Orb, Sheer Force. Body Slam destroys most of his team, for, but what it doesn't, that's what Flamethrower is for, hits the Kartana and kills it. Stomping Tantrums for the Stack Attacka, then Ice Beams for the Flygon if I really do need it, which I doubt I will, but I didn't need any other moves, so I just figured there you go. Just basic 252 attack, 252 speed, then four into special attack. Just basic set. Next is a life orb Mimikyu with HP Fire, Shadow Claw, Snap, Shadow Sneak, and Drain Punch. Drain Punch has trouble KOing the Kartana, so HP Fire does no matter what, as long as it's not Oka Berry. And Shadow Claw destroys most of his team. Shadow Sneak is a thing try to set up. Just good, reliable tech. Then Drain Punch is for the stack attack and anything that I want to heal up against, like the Linoon and the Sneasel. Hoping that puts into some work. Next, I have his Mega Charizard X. With Dragon Dance, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, and Earthquake, he has no switch ins on his entire team to my Mega Charizard X. Nothing wants to take a hit. I don't expect Flygon to come. So I believe I am out speeding max speed Tapu Fini, which I don't expect to come, but it's just a good number to hit. Thunder Punch hits the Tapu Fini. Fire Punch hits Kartana. Uh, Gore. It hits basically everything for a good amount of damage, even the Tapu Fini. Because at least, like, I think 22% if it's just max HP. Then Earthquake just destroys two. I probably could have put Roost over Thunder Punch. But I wanted something just to hit that Tapu Fini early on if I wanted to break it. So next one I'm bringing is Vaporeon. Wish Protect Scald Roar to keep the setup from Stack Attack if it gets too many plus, if it gets too many power ups from Beast Boost. Does get a Flygon, tries to set up, a Sneasel try to set up, or if a Linoon tries to set up against me if it doesn't care about Scald Burns. So, in Wish Pass, into things like Mega Charizard X, Tauros, Mimikyu, and my last Mon. Looks really good this match. If I'm going to switch in Mew anyway, might as well Wish heal it up. So, last Mon I'm bringing is Cobalion with the Chopper Berry. It's a good way to kill the Mega Metacham, which I don't have any switch in for on this team. So, Iron Head, Close Combat, Rock, Rock Polish, and Stone Edge. 
just destroys his entire team. Looks really good. Rock polish, just in case if I want to outspeed maybe like a... I didn't... Cartana can outspeed me, so I didn't want to run Max Max. So, this set just destroys his team. So, it's either Mega Charizard X is going to be my breaker and Cabalion is my sweeper. Or Cabalion is my sweeper and Mega Charizard X is my... Other way around, I mean. Cabalion will be my wall breaker and Mega Charizard X will be my cleaner. So, I'll see you all in the battle. Peace. And we are back. And as you can see, he's brought his Acelgore, his Sneasel, his Tapu Fini, his Mega Metacham, his Alolan Marowak, and his Cartana. So, I figured the best lead for this match would be Mega Charizard X, because I really thought he would lead his Acelgore, because I know he likes to he likes to hazard stack. And I thought the best way to start this match is by just going truly offensive. You see, he leads his Excel core, so I've been thinking, there's no way he would final gambit. So I just figured, mind as well just go for the Mega Evolution Dragon Dance, because there's nothing he can do to kill me. So, he goes for U-turn, and I'm thinking, that's fair enough. Not what I thought, but... So, I'm just going to go for the Dragon Dance here. I'm thinking, he only has two things that can outspeed me. Well, three. Scarf and Selgore, Scarf, Sneasel, and Scarf Cartana. None of which can KO me that easily, if at all. Besides me, the only thing that can KO me out of these three is Scarf, Sneasel, with Foul Play. So here, I'm not messing around because I can't kill it, so I just go for the Earthquake. Easy one shot. Then, here comes Tapu Fini. And it was a roll. If he was max HP, max defense, I cannot kill. But if he was max HP, it was a roll to kill. I'm pretty sure it was 50% to kill with Thunder Punch. So I figured there's no reason for me not to. Because if he's max HP, max defense, he can't kill me. But if he's. If he does. If he's offensive, I kill. But if it's just max HP, maybe max Spadef or special attack, he can't kill me. And there's no drawback. So I just go for Thunder Punch here, and I get the roll. He ended up just being max HP, max special attack. So I killed with Thunder Punch. Here comes his Mega Metacham. I predicted Fake Out. Nope, just Fire Punch and Kill. Fire Punch and Kill. So next we have the Cell Gore. He's not choice to scarf fire punch, just straights up kills. Here comes his Sneasel. And I'm gonna fire punch it. He goes for Ice Shard. Didn't do that much. Fire punch kills. Here comes Cartana. Fire punch kill. Two weeks in a row, Mega Charizard has 6 0 It is now kill leader of APA in the Goal League. So, now you can answer the question of the day. Do you believe Mega Charizard X is a beast? And I don't, because I know it is. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hopefully there will be more content. Prob so now we are all caught up on our battles. So, I'm gonna be starting a schedule of APA every Wednesday. So next Wednesday, it'll be week seven of the APA will be going up. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.